This is an aquaponic system. Fish and plants working closely together in a way that helps them both out. Ever thought of making one yourself? Just interested in how it works? Hang around and I'll show you how. Now, as you can probably imagine, our fish have a very important role in the system. They need to eat and they need to poop. Yeah, that's right, poop. Because we need their poop to fertilize the plants. Now, there's a very important third organism in this system that a lot of people know nothing about. It's the beneficial bacteria that live in these rocks and convert the fish poop into basically a fertilizer usable by the plants. So you may be thinking to yourself, man, these plants sure have the easy life, just sit around and get fertilized. Well, actually, they play a critical role in the symbiotic relationships of this system. You see, between the bacteria and the roots of the plants, the water is filtered. Now that's critical, because without that, our fish would eventually kill themselves with their own wastes. Remember how in most aquarium systems you've got these and these, nasty filters that have to be changed all the time. Well, guess what? With aquaponics, we let nature have its way. That's right. The natural system filters the water by itself. So what do you need if you want to make one of these systems? Well, you're going to need a fish tank. This one's 10 gallons. You're going to need a grow bed. I got this one at Lowe's, and the cool thing is, is it flows right back into my fish tank. All I had to do was make a little bench or stool that was at the right height for it. You'll need a pump to pump your water up and back into your grow bed. And then you'll need your grow media. And there's a lot of options for what you put in the grow bed. I decided to go with rock. I started out with kind of a big heavy rock at the bottom. Then I switched to a red river rock and finally topped it all off with pea gravel. Make sure you rinse your gravel really good though or it'll turn your tank a muddy brown. Back to the water, definitely use distilled or filtered water to start your tank out. And if you have warm water fish, get them a heater so they're in a comfortable environment. When it comes to plants, you've got lots of options, so do your research. You can use house plants like I've started out with, but a fascinating addition is edibles. Consider trying to grow something you can actually eat. If you've got a window, that works great for aquaponics, but if you don't, you can always consider a grow light. This is a special full spectrum light that can be used to grow plants. Pair it up with a nice little timer and you don't even have to think about turning it on or off. Symbiotic relationships are close relationships between different organisms and the aquaponic system is a fantastic example of that. We have the fish, which create the waste, which becomes the food for our bacteria and our plants. And in return, the plants filter the water so the fish can have a healthy and clean living environment. It's a beautiful example of the harmony that exists in our natural world.